insert into array can be found under arrays and it's this node right here. What this does is it'll actually insert an element into the array where replace array replaces the element, insert array will add an element to the array. Okay, so here's just a quick little example. I have my input array right here. I have my output array right underneath it. And I have my index and my new element or subarray, which this time is just an element. So when I run this code, as we can see, the top array was a three element array and the bottom array is a four element array. So what it did was at, at index two, so it took zero, one, two, it inserted the 74. So 0, 1, 2, put in that 74, and it pushed everything behind it one unit, sorry, one element over. So that's why this 3 now is actually an element number 4. For the second example, I'm doing something very similar, but now I have a 2D array, and this first index. Remember, if we hover over that little spool shows up, that little wire tool, and it says the first is a row, and the second one is our, our column. Now, you don't need the column hooked up, and I'll show you in the third example when to hook it up. So right now, this is actually the row. So now, what I have is my new element, or this time, it's, it's actually a subarray. I just have one element in this array. So watch what happens when we run this. So when we run it, it takes in our first array here, which are just our one through six, and it goes to index row one. So it'll go zero right here, and it'll go to row one, and it inserts this subarray. Now I don't have this filled. This is just a one element array, so that's why these get zeroed out. So it actually inserts this array into row one. And I, I built this purposely going down just to show that. So if I add you know 90 and 100 here, and I rerun this, this array like actually visibly doesn't really matter if it's that way or if it's this way. Uh, so I just did this to just kind of show you that this particular array setup doesn't really matter. It's going to go with how you put your indicators. So. This array got inserted into this two-dimensional array at index row 1, which is 0, 1. Similar example, we're going to do the same thing, but now all I did was I just switched our index to our column. So now if I run this, notice that it inserted column 1, which would be 0, 1. This column got filled with the 80 and 90 and notice the 100 is just dropped just because this is a this is just two rows and this is three rows so it just removes this third element so the the 80 and the 90 get filled into the slot the two three and the five and six get pushed over one element so that's using the column as an index versus your row as an index so some of you might be asking the next question is if because on replace element array I can wire both the index and the column but you actually can't on an insert into array so what I did here was I just tried to wire both the row and the column to try to replace one of the elements but it actually won't let me and it says right here our insert array more than one index input is wired so our errors here even though our wiring looks correctly and it lets you wire it but you need to remove one of these either row or column depending on your needs so that was the insert into array i hope this video was helpful and stay tuned for more